Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show. I hope you've already got my name. No? My name is Gary Scott Fine. Don't worry, it's just the third program. If you haven't got my name yet, it's fine. For this program, Professor Hiroko Suzuki and her team have created a unique corpus. In turn, we have chosen words from this corpus and mapped them into a word network for you. Rather than reflecting uh, connections between the meanings of words in this network, the network reflects the development of the stories that you'll see on this program. By following the networks, you can build your vocabulary in a more natural way than by just memorizing the words. The stories you'll see on this show take place in Tokyo at a bar called Tokyo Strangers. Each story also includes a short news report about the events of that story. This way, you'll be able to hear the same topic discussed using two different styles of language. Today's topic, it's something everybody dislikes but everyone should know about, namely, injuries and what to do about them. Please pay special attention to the words that they use. At first, you'll see the scene with English subtitles and the keywords highlighted, but please don't pay too much attention to the subtitles. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Now, let's go see what's happening at the bar. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Hey. Oh, hey. Hello. What ah, happened? There's nothing. Hi there. Joe, what happened? Uh, it's, it's nothing. My shoulder hurts a bit, that's all. Can I join you? Sure, I was just doing a crossword puzzle. Yeah. So? Ah, uh, well, when I woke up this morning, my shoulder and neck hurt. I could hardly turn my head, so I went to the clinic. What was the diagnosis? The doctor says I need a new pillow. <laughs> a pillow? <laughs> For your bed? Yeah. I'm sleeping on an old pillow, and my head isn't getting enough support, that's all. Anyway, the doctor gave me this sling to support my arm. But the pain is almost gone already. I feel fine. <laughs> Laura. Hi, Jack. Uh, Joe, what happened to you? It's not serious. I hurt myself. Is it bad? No. It's pretty sore, yeah. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, tell me what happened. I woke up in terrible pain, probably from sports. I play rugby, you know. Oh. So I went for medical attention. You went to the hospital? A clinic. It was an emergency facility. The staff did a bunch of tests on me. They took x-rays and gave me medication for the pain. Sounds terrible. I thought I might need surgery. Oh, Joe. She doesn't need an operation. Oh, thank goodness. Did they prescribe medicine? I'm sure Jack would go to a pharmacy for you. <laughs> My shoulder needs therapy. Gentle massage. That's the only treatment I need. Here, let me. You know, I almost studied nursing. Here? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. That feels good. You're so kind, Laura. Nothing. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. My. My health hasn't been so great lately, either. <laughs> now, 
for the ENN A Tongo Network News Break with Diane Vinn. Welcome to ENN A Tango Network News Break. I'm Diane Finn with the breaking news. An American man living in Tokyo complained of a pain today. Jack Russell of New York says that his friend Joe Watanabe is a royal pain in the neck. Russell and Watanabe of Shibuya Ward, Tokyo, have been friends since they were young children growing up in New York. But today, Russell complained that his friend's minor injury has given him a significant advantage in their competition for the attention of Laura McMillan, a young woman to whom they are both attracted. According to sources at Tokyo Strangers, Watanabe exaggerated in describing a pain in his shoulder and then enjoyed a back rub under false pretenses. Apparently envious, Russell was quoted as saying, I don't want a serious illness or disease, but a little sniffle or mild headache might help me get her attention. Russell confirmed that he considered going to the hospital, but didn't know which department would take him or whether his insurance would pay for it. For ENN, I'm Diane Finn. What did you think? Joe's shoulder and neck hurt just a little bit, but he makes it seem much worse because he wants to get Laura's sympathy. Yes, Joe and Jack are at it again, competing for Laura's attention. Let's see what kinds of words they used. Today, they're talking about medical care. The story may seem a bit silly, but these words are important to know, so please look at them closely. Some of the words may be familiar to you. Clinic, therapy, health. Others might be new to you, such as x-ray, surgery, operation. Now, let's retrace the story using a word network. The main topic today, medical care. Ah, that's better. Now we can see the connections between the words. First, let's check how Joe describes his shoulder to Jack. First, Joe says, I hurt my shoulder. Hurt is a common word to describe a pain or injury. Hurt, it sounds almost like heart, so be careful not to confuse them. Then, Joe described how he dealt with his pain. Let's look at another vocabulary tree. Joe went to the clinic. This is quite common in Japan. A clinic is a type of place where you get medical care, but it's much smaller than a hospital. At the clinic, Joe gets a diagnosis. A diagnosis is something the doctor tells you. It's a description of the nature of your condition or problem. In this case, the diagnosis is Joe slept in a bad position because of his old pillow. However, when Laura suddenly appears, Joe makes his condition sound much more serious than it really is. First, Joe says he went to get medical attention, rather than just saying he went to a clinic. And he mentions that it was an emergency facility. This makes it sound as if Joe's injury might be serious. At the emergency facility, the staff examined Joe. A staff is a group of workers or personnel who perform a specific job. One thing the staff does is to take an x-ray of Joe. Röntgen is the name of the German physicist who discovered x-rays. In English, we usually use the expression x-ray rather than the founder's name. Joe says he thought he might need surgery for his pain. But he said that really just in order to get Laura's sympathy. He already told Jack it's not serious. That's why Jack says he doesn't need an operation. Surgery and operation mean basically the same thing here, although the meaning of operation is a little bit broader. In the end, Jack tried to get Laura's attention by pretending to be sick himself. Diane Finn reported on Jack's comments. Let's see what kinds of words she used. Jack said he doesn't want a serious disease. The word disease means something different than hurt and injury. A disease is an illness caused by a failure of health or by an infection rather than by an accident. Instead of a disease, Jack says a little sniffle 
is good enough. A sniffle is a mild cold that mainly affects your nose. That's the sound of a sniffle. Finally, Diane mentioned that Jack wasn't sure that his insurance would cover his fake illness. Do you get it? Good. Now, let's retrace what happened at Tokyo Strangers following the key words. So, uh, when I woke up this morning, my shoulder and neck hurt. I could hardly turn my head, so I went to the clinic. What was the diagnosis? The doctor says I need a new pillow. <laughs> a pillow? <laughs> For your bed? Yeah. I'm sleeping on a... Hi, Jack. Uh, Joe, what happened to you? It's not serious. I hurt myself. I woke up in terrible pain, probably from sports. I play rugby, you know. Oh. So I went for medical attention. You went to the hospital? A clinic. It was an emergency facility. The staff did a bunch of tests on me. They took x-rays and gave me medication for the pain. Sounds terrible. I thought I might need surgery. Oh, Joe. He doesn't need an operation. Oh, thank goodness. Did they prescribe medicine? I'm sure Jack would go to a pharmacy for you. <laughs> My shoulder needs therapy. Gentle massage. That's the only treatment I need. Here, let me. You know, I almost studied nursing. Here. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my, my health hasn't been so great lately either. <laughs> Apparently envious, Russell was quoted as saying, I don't want a serious illness or disease, but a little sniffle or mild headache might help me get her attention. Russell confirmed that he considered going to the hospital, but didn't know which department would take him or whether his insurance would pay for it. Okay, now a map of words is forming inside your head. Let's review the keywords with a little game. It's an animation, it's a kind of quiz. It should be a lot of fun. Watch your screen, words will appear in a video. See if you can guess what the words are. Are you ready? Go. Review the words. What's this? Um, uh, insurance. Insurance. Now, what's this? Huh. Hmm. Treatment. Treatment. And this? Um, uh, surgery. Surgery. How about this? Hmm. Uh. Operation. Operation. What's this? Huh. Hmm. Facility. Facility. What's this? Um. Uh. Diagnosis. Diagnosis. Let's try again. But it's a lot faster. Surgery. Surgery. Insurance. Insurance. Facility. Facility. Treatment. Treatment. Diagnosis. Diagnosis. Operation. Operation. Find where I am. Look for clinic. Clinic. Hmm. Clinic. 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 Look for health. Hmm. Health. 
Health? Health. Health. Now look for nursing. Nursing. Nursing? Nursing. 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 Well done. Next, Next stage. stage. Look for medical. Medical. Hmm. Medical. Medical? Medical. Medical. Look for staff. Staff? Staff. 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 Now look for disease. Disease? Disease. 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 Congratulations. Well, that's all for today. Now, let's go back to Tokyo Strangers, this time with no English subtitles, and you'll see what happened in the end. It might sound tough to follow, but remember, you've already got the word network forming in your mind. You may be surprised by how much you understand. For practice, imagine that you are at Tokyo Strangers. What kinds of topics might you want to talk about? For example, how would you describe a visit to a hospital? Build a word network in your own mind that follows the topic you want to discuss. Do this between shows. You'll be ready to talk about this next time. Of course, you don't want to talk about going to the hospital, but sometimes you have to. Catch you later. So, uh, when I woke up this morning, my shoulder and neck hurt. I could hardly turn my head, so I went to the clinic. What was the diagnosis? The doctor says I need a new pillow. <laughs> a pillow? <laughs> For your bed? Yeah. I'm sleeping on an old pillow, and my head isn't getting enough support, that's all. Anyway, the doctor gave me this sling to support my arm. But the pain is almost gone already. I feel fine. <laughs> Jack? Uh, Joe? What happened to you? It's not serious. I woke up in terrible pain, probably from sports. <laughs> I play rugby, you know. Oh. So I went for medical attention. You went to the hospital? A clinic. It was an emergency <laughs> facility. The staff did a bunch of tests on me. They took x-rays and gave me medication for the pain. Sounds terrible. I thought I might need surgery. Oh, Joe. She doesn't need an operation. Oh, thank goodness. Did they prescribe medicine? I'm sure Jack would go to a pharmacy for you. <laughs> My shoulder needs therapy. Gentle massage. That's the only treatment I need. Here, let me. You know, I almost studied nursing. <laughs> That feels good. <coughs> oh. Oh. My, my health hasn't been so great lately either. <coughs> <coughs> you get Joe something to drink? A beer would be wonderful. Thanks, Jack. Five minutes ago, you were telling me you feel fine. He's right. I still have one good arm. I can get it myself. Don't be silly. You need to rest. You wait right here, and I'll bring you a beer. Shame on you, Jack. Aww. What? What did I do?